I'm going to need y'all to hop on the drama going on over at Love and Hip Hop Atlanta because chow, 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 it's as bad as it can be. So I know most of y'all probably know, but in case you missed it, Erica Mena and Spice got into it last episode and things got so messy that Erica got fired from the show and it looks like she is blaming Spice for this and she just threw a major clap back at Spice for setting her up for drags. And you're not going to believe the insane thing she had to say. Okay, so the fight between Erica Mena and Spice was kind of shocking because they have always been on great terms with each other. Well, I guess they were pretending all along, but nobody expected things to get out of hand or get so bad. I mean, they were never super close or besties, but they have been civil with each other. Fights are normal in reality TV shows, but nothing quite this crazy. But before we go on, I have to give y'all some background information on this drama so y'all know what led to this insanity. Erica used to be married to Safari Samuels from 2019 to 2022, but their marriage was as toxic as could be. Everyone in their circle and even those of us watching from home could tell that the marriage was messy from the very start, but it took Erica and Safari three years of marriage and two kids to figure it out. The divorce was also messy and Safari got exposed for being a deadbeat dad, but he didn't care about it. Oh. What I'm trying to say is this right here. Oh. No, I ain't no boo. You need to step up and be a you need to be a daddy. You need to be a nanny. He still wasn't affected, even when Erica told him how badly his attitude was affecting their children. Legend dances every time we play your songs. You may not have a connection, but that's your son. But on the other hand, Safari has had a very good relationship with Spice. They're good friends, and I'm not just talking about them being co-stars on the show. They genuinely care about each other, and they've been cool for years. And this is what led to Erica's fight with Spice. Now, at first, Erica was not jealous of Spice's friendship with Safari, or at least she claimed that she wasn't. But things began to change last year when Spice suffered a medical complication that she almost passed away from. There were some fears among her co-stars that she wouldn't make it out alive, and she even thought that she was going to die. So she wrote a will while she was in the hospital. It was that serious, y'all. Now, according to Erica, when Safari heard the news about Spice, he had a breakdown. He was so upset that he literally started bawling out and this made Erica feel some type of way about the situation because she felt like he cared more for Spice than he did for her when they were still married. Even when Erica was in the hospital with their child, she claimed that Safari was never bothered about her or their child. So she had issues with him being all bothered over Spice. She was so upset that she started to talk about Spice behind her back. And y'all know the wildest part about this? It's that Safari recorded Erica while she was talking about Spice and then he played the recording for Spice. Come on now, that's petty. Obviously, this made Spice angry because she couldn't believe that Erica would talk about her like that. Things got strained between the two women and it got to the point where their co-star Shekinah had to take them out to lunch so they could air out their issues and talk it through. Now, this would have ordinarily been a great idea, but it quickly went left when Erica and Spice started to come at each other instead of having a conversation like grown adults. At the start, Erica tried to deny that she felt upset over Safari's reaction to Spice's health and she even tried to claim that she and her friend group prayed and fasted for Spice to get better. Gathering and what was told to me, you received voice notes of Safari saying that I was upset with the fact he felt some type of way about what was happening to you. Mm -hmm. Were you upset? No. Okay. I was actually upset what was happening to you, yeah. So much so that me and my friends, we fasted for two days. I didn't, you know, I prayed. But Shekinah was not about to let Erica get away with a lie, and she immediately checked Erica for this, insisting that Erica did not fast for Spice to get better. Hey, wait, 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 hold on. Now I ain't got scared. You done sit up here and saw them big ass lies about you and Sierra, oh, baby, and the three mean girls that fast for Spice. I ain't gonna push nothing like that out my ass. I don't play with that. Was y'all all three in the same goddamn room fasting together? We was together? every, th for the, those three days, was we was all three all together holding. We was praying. Girl, y'all went fast no face that. Yes, the help, bitch. You should try a fast. Child, not should kind of air her out like that. It was at this point that Erica finally came clean and admitted that she did, in fact, have a problem with Safari's reaction and that she lost her cool when she saw how Safari took the news. Listen, Spice, I told Safari what was going on with you. His reaction action was, oh my God, I wouldn't know what would happen to me if something happens to Spice. And I said, well, damn, I was your wife pregnant. Almost lost my life and our baby in a really dark time. I was in the hospital, which the whole world saw. 
Safari made it seem like he quote unquote started crying and I went ballistic about it. And that was nowhere near what happened. But Spice was not about to let her get off that easily. And so she told Erica not to blame her for Safari's actions. And honestly, she was right about that. Erica should have kept the same energy with Safari because it wasn't Spice's fault. Even though Erica didn't exactly come out and say it, it was kind of obvious that she was jealous of Spice's closeness with Safari and the fact that he treated Spice way better than he ever treated Erica while they were married. It's understandable that she would feel salty about this, especially since Safari also made sure he paid her as little as possible in child support. But the conversation got out of hand when Spice accused Erica of manipulating people with self-pity and weaponizing her single mother status to make people feel sorry for her. And you're the first woman that's left with two children mm -hmm. to fend for. I've been doing it for 14 years. Welcome to the club. Girl, I've been doing it for nowhere. 16. Okay? 16. Okay, with 16 your son that don't like years. you. Uh, I think we all can agree that Spice went a little too far by bringing Erica's son into this mess. Everyone knows that you should never bring kids into an argument or drama between adults. And Spice was wrong to throw Erica's bad relationship with her son into the situation. For those who don't know, Erica has an older son from her older relationship that she gave birth to in 2007, but they don't exactly have a great relationship. Erica is super salty about this and she got so mad that she flipped the table over. Literally. <laughs> But Spice did not back down and she kept taunting Erica until Erica got mad and said she wished that Spice had passed away in the hospital. And not only that, but she also started throwing her racist colors. You should have died. You want to mention my kid? You should have died, bitch. Y'all open the fucking door. Let me out. Let me out. I'm going to fucking mush up in here. Let me out, bitch. Your son hates you. Your son hates you, bitch. You monkey. You it's wild how she went from, I fasted for you not to die, to, you should have died. It's just a crazy situation, and I know that Spice was wrong to have brought Erica's son into the situation, but there was no justification for Erica using a slur on her. And it's not the only time Erica has been proved of showing racist behavior to black people. Back in 2015, she was accused of calling a promoter black, broke, monkeys, and effing monkeys, after she failed to show up for a club appearance that she was paid for. She has also been accused of calling Johnny Blaze a monkey. So like I said, it's not a new behavior from her. Fans were upset with this and they dragged the network asking for Erica to get fired. They eventually caved and released a statement saying that they had fired her from the franchise, but fans were still mad because they had the footage of Erica for months and did nothing about it. It felt like they were just trying to save face. Well, it looks like Erica is not taking this well because according to an insider, she thinks that it's completely Spice's fault for making her laugh out and say the things she did. It feels like Erica thinks Spice was deliberately trying to provoke her into saying mean stuff so she could paint Erica as being the bad guy. Another insider revealed that Erica thinks that it's unfair that she got fired while Spice keeps her spot on the show. Erica believes that Spice should have been fired as well because she was the one who started the argument. Fans are conflicted on this drama and they left comments saying, Erica Mena was racist for calling Spice a monkey, period. Someone pissing you off doesn't make you resort to racist slurs unless you already felt that way. She told us how she really felt. What Erica Mena said to Spice wasn't colorist. What Erica Mena said to Spice was racist and anti-black. And the way she said it with her chest, let's not sugarcoat for that woman, F her. And y'all really feel like Erica Mena was wrong? You go low, I go to hell. Granted, she could have said anything but that, but it is what it is spice was just as wrong but do you guys think that erica was wrong or do you think that she did the right thing by going low to defend her child drop your thoughts in the comments then check out this next video